Laredo, Texas. And Augustine Sanchez out of Las Vegas. Sanchez uh, in the red corner was a rather close winner, 42-39 over Diego Corrales to advance to the finals. And equally as close was the victory by Martinez over Clay Jenkins, 28-26. In fact, I must confess, I thought Jenkins beat Martinez. At any rate, he's a 17-year-old, 5-2. Out of San Antonio. Two guys uh, look each other eye to eye at 125 pounds. Lyle Acklestead out of Bighorn, Montana. How about that? Bighorn, Montana and Big Sky Country. That's right. That is Big Sky Country. You can see forever. See the tail of the tape? Little to choose from between the two. Martinez the southpaw. Well, both fighters learned something valuable in their last effort. They were both razor-thin victories, so they have the confidence to come out and win a close fight, and yet something to motivate them, knowing they have to do more. Sanchez in red. Martinez in the blue headgear. Quick hands by Martinez going over the top and getting his straight left hand in. 125 pounders. Nice combination thrown in there by Sanchez and Martinez says enough of that and so he wrestles him and throws him to the deck. And Sanchez answered when he had to because Martinez landed two nice left hands. Even with the first one being partially blocked by the gloves, he threw the second one in the same spot, and it got in. And trainers always say, just keep going to that same area, no matter how many times. They can't all be blocked. Martinez first off the mark throughout this round. Sanchez blocking a lot. And then he counters with the hook. Nice exchange between the two up against the ropes. Again, the pressure on the judges to record a blow in that flurry between those two men, and it probably took uh, half a second. Each man had a legitimate call. There's some nice combination work by Sanchez. Martinez comes right back. But well, Martinez's shots have been telegraphed at times and Sanchez blocking them. Sanchez fighting with what looks like a, a reach advantage. Even if it doesn't show up on the tail of the tape, he's leaning forward. And he's fighting like a taller fighter. He is taller by an inch. And with Martinez crouching, he becomes bigger. Wild at swing it, affair. Everybody is aiming for the other guy's chin. I mean, punches are coming in bunches with these two. There's the bell, and that's the end of round number one. Very busy round for these two little guys at 125 pounds. You're in the corner with Chris Martinez out of San Antonio. Maybe they know we're listening because they're whispering over there, Dan. And some of the action from that round as they're tying up and letting it go. Nice left cross there by Martinez. And Sanchez knows he has to answer immediately. And then there's the tie-up by Martinez. You don't want to let a fighter get a flurry in and not be able to answer right away. The wrong message will be sent out. And from all angles, coming off the ropes, uh, a rock'em, sock'em affair. Forget balance, forget leverage, forget technique, just wing it. 
And of course, it's like anything else. The last punch thrown is the one that's first remembered, is it not? Absolutely true. Up they come. Bell brings them out for round number two. These are featherweights, 125 pounders. 5-3, 5-2. Sanchez in the red. Martinez in the black. Wearing the blue headgear. Winner gets the boxing gold here at the Olympic Festival. Venue for boxing, the Fox Theater here in St. Louis. Longtime landmark of the Mound City. So backstage and walk around, it's kind of a, with the pictures and all the autographs of who's who of everybody in show business. Red Skelton's up there with Perry Como and smiling down benignly on all of them is George Burns. In the not too distant future, Barishnikov will, will be dancing here. here. And Van yep. Cliburn's going to be playing the piano. It is indeed one of the show business landmarks, the old Fox Theater. And the boxing has been well attended as we're watching gold medal night here. Practically a sellout here for the final night. And some good action with these guys. Two punch combinations by Martinez. He drives Sanchez back and Sanchez is off balance. Trying to answer back now. This is Martinez's opportunity. Driving Sanchez back and able to land two and three punch combinations here. I think uh, Martinez had the very best of it there for about 15 or 20 seconds. Whereas in the opening round, Sanchez was able to come back and plan himself. Martinez kept driving him back to jab, setting up two punch combinations, and then the movement keeping Sanchez off balance. For a while there, Sanchez must have felt as though he walked into a couple of turnstiles, both of them spinning at a high rate of speed because he was getting hit from every side and every angle. And it nearly drove him out of the park here. Sanchez is in red. Martinez in the blue headgear and the black trunks and tunic. At 125 pounds, they're trying to decide who gets the gold in the featherweight division. A little southpaw, Martinez, with a right and then a nice left to follow it. You're seeing some pretty good schooling by Martinez here. Every time he throws the jab, he's looking to throw something behind it. He's not just throwing out the jab or just showing it. The jab is always followed by some attempted shot to the body with his left hand, and that is his power hand. Two, three punches in a flurry by Martinez. Sanchez. Dogging his footsteps, trying to back him up, trap him a bit. Lands a couple of his own, driving him back. Little southpaw dances away. Now Sanchez wants to be cute here. He can try to time a right-hand counter behind the first shot that gets in by Martinez. Seconds remain in round number two. Martinez throws an uppercut as if a little welcoming message. Thinking Sanchez was coming in, he didn't, but Sanchez got nailed just the same as round two comes to a close. This could be a very close fight, I would think. The judge has been busy. We got one more round to go to settle the gold at 125 pounds, and we'll do that after we pause for this message. St. Louis, the Olympic Festival. Tom Kelly and Dave Bontempo here, and boxing is the bill of fare. Combination. It seemed to be a kind of a universal thought from one corner to the other. Throw a lot of punches, keep busy. Indeed, that's what seemed to be the weight of the judges' hearts and the weight of the gold medal as the featherweights come out to settle this uh, third and final round in the gold medal in the Olympic Festival boxing. Martinez in black, he's the little southpaw. And uh, Augustine Sanchez in red. Well, not only... Two points matter the most, and total punches is everything in amateur boxing, but three rounds. So a fighter in pretty good condition should be hustling at all times. Well, one would assume, although I don't know it to be a fact, etched in stone at 125 pounds, how can you get tired, huh? But I suppose they do tire out as well as a guy that's 225 pounds. If their punch volume is that much more, and we have had pretty good punch volume in this fight, even when they've been thrown from lunging, awkward, off-balance positions. Yes, they've been busy, both of them. And you like the fact that they're trying a lot of things. Martinez is always looking to plant that power left hand behind his jab, setting them up. Sanchez always trying to catch him in that mistake. Try to lure him in. Very nearly got the uh, wide-angle lens on the television camera to take back as a souvenir. 
to Las Vegas as Martinez swung him around and practically put him in our cameraman's lap for eyepiece. The uppercut was there for Sanchez a moment ago. He didn't take it. The left hook is also there. Well, I tell you, they are not asking any nor giving any quarter. They are really banging away at each other. Now, one thing that uh, Sanchez has not done in this fight is the thing we've talked about in other bouts, the right-hand lead. He's really waiting for Martinez to come to him. Caught him with a left hook then. Martinez up, bouncing, dancing, moving. He's the southpaw. Sanchez trying to trap him in the corner. And Martinez trapped himself in the corner there, and then Sanchez uh, was not able to get to him. Axel stabbed the referee, said break, and they did. It's been a good fight. I don't know who's won this fight, to be honest with you. Each man, in turn, has had some good moments against the other. And there hasn't been a dull moment. They've been going at it. It's a 20-foot ring, and the uh, guys at 5'2 uh, and 5'3, 125 pounds, can almost get lost up there. Yeah, they can make it look like a 50-foot ring. These two guys have done as many uh, miles as you did this morning, Dave Von Tempo, <laughs> dashing around the hotel. They put in there four or five. Look at them, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Crowd love it. You got to love it. Uh, smaller fighters letting everything go and trying everything they can here and some pretty good subtle defensive skills at times, too. There's the bell. That brings us to the end of round three and the end of the 125-pound competition. The two fighters arm around each other, come over to the corners. I don't know. I'm going to suggest to you that Sanchez won it, but I don't know if that's correct. I would not be surprised that this young guy, Martinez, didn't get the call. Well, this was a pleasing effort from bell to bell. Now, here Sanchez has Martinez trapped, lands a nice left hook, then the straight right hand, and Martinez, despite getting hit, just keeps coming right at him, trying to get his shots in. I think the style of Martinez helped Sanchez in this fight because Martinez was always there in front of him. All right, Axel Strad, the official, has the two men with him, and we're waiting for the judge's call off the computer. And we have a result in a 34-27 decision. Your 94 Olympic Festival champion in the red corner from Las Vegas, Nevada, Augustine. Augustine Sanchez was the winner. I thought he might have been. The crowd did not share my opinion nor that of the judges who gave him a 34-27 or seven-point differential in the matter of deciding the gold at 125 pounds. I would not have been surprised had it gone the other way. I thought it was a very good fight. You could go either way with it. The crowd never likes it when a counterpuncher wins, it seems, but the style set itself up for Sanchez to take advantage of Martinez's aggression, and he did that. Well, there he is, Augustine Sanchez out of Las Vegas, the 1994 U.S. Olympic Festival gold medalist.